cell is described as having an EMF of 6 volts. What does it mean? Before we look at all those choices, what is EMF? You need to remember the definitions. You remember perhaps also the equation. So equation now uh, is, remember W equals to QV or Q delta V? You can repurpose that as a definition for EMF. So re uh, rearrange V will be work done per unit charge or in our case since it's EMF, the EMF 6 volts is how much energy per Q, which is Coulomb. So this one is in volts, this is in joules, this is coulombs of charge. So what does it mean when you have 6 volts? That means if you have 1 coulomb of charge, that means you have 6 joules. 6 divided by 1 is 6, right? So for every coulomb, you have 6 joules that will carry around. Imagine a coulomb of charges. You know, this bag of charges, and they will carry the energy through the whole circuit, which is six joules. And then they travel, like our our food delivery drivers this season, they deliver food to your house. So yeah, they will take your food, deliver. So let's look at the choices. A says, Coulomb of charge always dissipates six joules of energy in the internal resistance of the cell. This is a different... No, no, no. This is referring to the lost volts. Dissipate 6 energy in internal resistance, referring to lost volts, where V equals to I times R. That is not the EMF that is being generated from chemical to uh, electrical. Okay, this 6 joules, uh, let's write clarification up here, is from chemical to electrical. And also, this amount of energy is supplied to the whole circuit supplied to the whole circuit including internal resistance external resistance everything so a is not quite right b says one electron gains six joule of energy when passing through the cell not one electron one electron is 1.6 times 10 negative 19 coulomb that's way too little now, if you look at our definition of EMF, we are looking at coulombs. So one electron is too little. No, 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 no. C. C says there is a potential difference of 6 volt applied across any external circuit connected to the cell. Um, it is correct sometime, but not all the time. Why? Uh? 6 volt to external circuit. So if you just have EMF and external circuit, if EMF is 6 volt, you get 6 volts. That's correct. But if your battery has internal resistance and you are supplying energy to the external circuit, although your EMF is 6 volt, you might only get 5 volts. Why? Ah? 5 volts because you already lose some energy in the internal resistor. So you lost... 1 volt. So we only have 5 left to give outside. So this one, it really depends. Uh. This one is not correct. Because external circuit, it depends on internal resistance. So then that leaves us with D that says, when a coulomb of charge passes through the cell, 6 joule chemical energy is transformed. Yes, that is the definition. They get energy, chemical to electrical, they take 1 coulomb of charge will take it and distribute to the whole circuit. So the best choice we can choose here would be D. Okay, so that's all for this video. See you in the next one.